welcome problem solving fans to another problem of the day and this one is all about buying potatoes and carrots laura is buying three kilograms of potatoes and they are 78p per kilogram so it's going to be three lots of 78p and she's buying two and a half kilograms of carrots and they are one pound 46 per kilogram so it's going to be two and a half times one pound 46 so first thing we're going to do is work this out well three lots of 78 let's work it out on the potatoes so 78 times three let's see what that gives us three eights are 24 put the four in carry the two and three sevens are 21 plus the two is 23 so that's 234 pence or two pound 34 so she's paying £2.34 on potatoes. Now, as for the carrots, there's a couple of ways you could do this. You could say, well, the first kilogram is worth £1.46. The second kilogram is also £1.46. But there's another half of a kilogram because 0 0.5 is a half. So half a kilogram would be half of £1.46. Well, half of one pound would be 50p and half of 46 would be 23p. So 50p and 23p is 73p. So the extra half a kilogram would be 73p or 0.73 if you're doing it in a column method with the other one pound 46s. So if we add these three numbers together, we'll get how much is two and a half kilograms of carrots. So 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 3 is 15, put the 5 in, carry the 1. 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 7 is 15, plus 1 is 16, put the 6 in, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 2, plus the 1 we've just carried is 3. Put your decimal point in and put your pound sign in, so £3.65. So the carrots, she is spending £3.65. Now there is another way you could have done it. You could actually have taken the decimal points out of the 1.46 to make it 146 and take the decimal point out of the 2.5 to make 25. And you could have done 146 times 25 and then put the decimal points back in at the end. Now we're hoping to get £3.65. So let's do just double check that that is actually what we get. Well, 5 lots of 6 is 30. Put the 0 in, carry the 3. 5 fours are 20, plus 3 is 23, put the 3 in, carry the 2. 5 ones are 5, plus 2 is 7. So the top line is 730. Now we need to multiply by this 2. Well, this 2 means 20. So you put your magic 0 in and then times by 2. 2 sixes are 12, put the 2 in, carry the 1. 2 fours are 8, plus 1 is 9. 2 ones are 2. On the final line, let's add everything together. Nothing add nothing is nothing. 3 plus 2 is 5. 7 plus 9 is 16. Put the 6 in, carry the 1. And 2 plus 1 is 3. Now remember, we did actually take the decimal points out. So if we put those back in, there was a decimal point between the 1 and the 0.46. And there was another decimal point between the 2 and the 5 to make 2.5. Now, altogether, that makes three digits after the decimal point. The four, the six, and the five. So in our answer, 3,650, we would have to have three digits after the decimal point, which means the decimal point would go between the three and the six because there's your three digits after. Now, when we write a 3.650, we don't really need the zero on the end, which is going to leave it as 3.65 which is exactly what we got over here. So that's another way you could have got to £3.65. But we're still not done. We've got to work out how much she spent altogether. So she's spending £2.34 on potatoes and £3.65 on carrots. Add that together and we'll know how much she's spending. 4 plus 5 is 9, 3 plus 6 is 9, 2 plus 3 is 5. So she's spending £5.99. But it's still not the final answer. £5.99 is what she has spent. We're being asked how much change she gets. 
So from the £20 note, if you take off the £5.99, that'll tell us how much change she's got. Well, you could just do this in your head, really. So if you subtract off £5 first from 20 20 take away 5 gets you down to £15. And then take away your 99 pence from £15 is going to be £14 and a penny. So the amount of change that she gets is £14, one pence. And that is our final answer. £14, one pence.